This qualifying recap brought to you by Philips Connect, technology that moves us forward. People that discount this Capco team are making a grave mistake. Three point six five five three hundred twenty seven miles an hour and Steve Torrance goes to the top. Doug Coletta goes three point six eight four at three hundred twenty four miles an hour. The class has really stepped up and everybody's so quick and so fast right now and we needed to run well. Uh, we've struggled throughout the year, uh, kind of self-inflicted, but at this time we're, we're trying to get our way back in there and we've, we've kind of put ourselves behind the eight ball with two non-spectacular starts to the countdown. And so we needed to run well and that was great for us to come here. I don't know if that'll stay number one, depends on the conditions tomorrow, but I, I feel like it will be top three at least. So. Um, just a great run for us. I mean, we we slowly got to where we need to be, and if we can maintain that pace right there and can and carry it through the rest of the four races, we'll maybe have a shot at this deal. Ron Cap one in Charlotte. Final two, funny cars, top fuel is at the ready line. Three point eight. 336.32 miles an hour for Robert Height. And at 3.853 seconds, Robert Height goes to the top. Well, it, it's it's huge. I mean, uh, number one, there's only 15 cars this weekend, so the, the number one spot is very, very important. And, you know, we're counting points. Uh, we, we amassed a pretty decent lead leaving Reading, and we gave, gave it back last weekend, let some of these guys back in. And it was a mechanical failure, uh, blew out a spark plug, and um, ended our day. So we worked hard at the shop this week and tried to identify things that could be potential problems and, you know, come out here and make a run like that. Um, you know, 336 miles an hour, that's the fastest I've gone in a long time. I know it's the fastest run of the year for funny cars, so that's pretty impressive. But we do have great conditions. Dallas in the left side. Kyle Koretsky in the right. We're getting down to it. Well, the reaction war goes to Dallas. 6.512, miles an hour. Kyle Koretsky. I knew the team's been working on the engines real hard. I've uh, been struggling a little bit as a team with the engines, but Greg and Jeff and all the guys back at the shop at KB have been really. Uh, busting their butt to uh, make sure that all these cars are fast. Uh, I think we're all kind of in a little bit of a slump somewhat as a team, but to go out there and, and go low for Friday night is pretty cool. Uh, you know, just to qualify is real cool, but to be number one for Friday nights, uh, it's nice. It takes a little bit of pressure off you, and now you can kind of, I can kind of relax a little bit and try to do my job on uh, hitting a tree, so. When we went into the countdown of the championship and asked him point blank, who do you believe is your biggest threat? He said, Joey Gladstone, period, end of sentence. Well, he's right. Yes, he is. Six point seven oh nine two hundred two point eight two miles an hour. And Matt Smith goes to the top. Uh, it was great. You know, the, the last time we've been here was, uh, I think, 2019. We came in 2020, but we didn't really get to run because it was so cold and all that, so we finished the race at Dallas. But, uh, you know, I held a speed record then, and, uh, you know, the motorcycles have evolved a lot in the last three years as far as ET and speed. So uh, it's good to be back here. It's fast track, good track, and uh, excited for what happens tomorrow. Uh, I'll go off our data that we had this evening. Um, we could have hit it harder. Uh, we was too conservative. The track was way better than what we thought. So uh, if we have the same weather as tomorrow, the sun will be on in a little bit. But we're definitely going to go and uh, swing for a 60 because I've never been to the On the right side, didn't we see this earlier when, uh, yeah, I'm sure we did, as a matter of fact. Let's see if Justin Bond can maybe extract a little revenge for missing that wind light a week ago. Z-Max Dragway, Charlotte, North Carolina. Man, two nice.
nice clean runs down the center of the groove here is Jackson 569 257. Wow. Solid run. Steve Jackson takes his Bahrain 1 Camaro to the.